welcome back to another day, another vlog. Well, I'm packing my bags, getting ready to go back to work. It's Monday, flight's out today, back to Perth, then back to work. Uh, Got to get back into life. Can't, uh, unfortunately, nothing stops, bills don't stop. Uh, banks don't stop being bastards. <laughs> uh, had yet another running with ANZ today, and yeah, that was pretty awesome. Um, what do you do? Wow. Um, top tip, apparently, banks don't have to tell you when they cancel your credit card. Top tip there. Uh, apparently, you're supposed to only find, the only way you can find out, including after they've done your new house loan and they do all your credit checks, they didn't check that. Uh, but the only way you find out is if you would go to a shop to buy something uh, so you look like an idiot. Thanks, ANZ. Brilliant. Brilliant plan, uh, way to make your customers feel awesome. Uh, not an email, emails are pretty easy, like an automatic email to say it's been shut down for whatever reason, nothing like that. Just, hey, uh, you'll find out next time you go and buy something, eat a bag of you know what. Anyway, uh, so yeah, just to be aware of that, probably my own fault apparently you've got to read, I was supposed to read and understand and remember 20, 30 pages of credit card information, which is, as we all know, is the biggest scam in history. Uh, not a, not even lawyers could remember all that stuff. So that's just, a, yeah, banks. Banks being banks, they don't give a shit about anyone. It's all about profit and smashing people. And now I have to wait, uh, I think, another eight days before I can get the money they owe me out of their account because I, I had money and credit in it. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, look. <laughs> not happy about that. Not a good way to start my day, but uh, look, it's good to get it out there just so you're aware of uh, what these guys do. And it's probably something just to be aware of if you miss a payment and they don't have to, apparently they don't have to tell you if you miss a payment and they're going to cancel the card. They don't they don't care. They just shut it and you're stuffed. Bad luck, too, look, too bad. So yeah, very, very interesting. Uh, so I had to go and reapply for another one and now I've got to wait and see if they're going to give me one. So just amazing. All, all sorts of fun and stuff for the Monday morning, start of the week. Hope your week goes a little bit better than mine started today. Uh, it's, a, it's a big week, back to work. It's, I haven't been there for a while, so I get my head back into the game. Um, I've had my family stuff to deal with, and then the move, we've moved the house and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, it's been a long, long two months for me. Uh, and I've just got to basically just get back into it and get, get in the program. So that's, that's what we do. That's it. That's why it's called a job. It's not called fun. It's a, it's work. <laughs> and, uh, other than that, um, Eddie, the new video, look, I didn't get one out, obviously didn't get one out on the weekend where I'm way behind, obviously, uh, the new videos again. Yeah. It's a big one. I've got a ton of stuff in it. Um, I'm still doing the photos. I, I again, I had like 400 photos to get through. I had a big run yesterday and the day before. So I think I'm about probably nearly 80, 90% through the photos on the first run. Um, so I'm doing pretty well in that regards. I think uh, it's uh, it's a big effort. Anyone that's edited photos, if you go out and you do a big hike and you do it and you've got a ton of photos to sort through, it's okay when you probably don't have too many things to photograph. But uh, obviously, where I am in the uh, working in the Pilbury, it's a beautiful location and there's some amazing things. So I'm trying to really want to show you by Give you some images that are amazing images, but also some that represent that story of the video too, to show you the landscape that we work in, uh, the landscape that's here in Australia in the Pilbara that probably doesn't get, or definitely doesn't get sold enough. So it's a, it's an amazing, amazing landscape and a beautiful spot of the world. So I'm tr I'm hopefully that's why it takes so long to get all through the photos because there's there's amazing photos which always go in. But there's also ones there that I want to try and give you a feel of the feel of the story, the location, the land, and the culture of surrounding that part of this amazing country. So definitely, I should have it out by this week. Um, I'll be back to my one thing I am looking forward to is getting back into my normal routine. You know, how, uh, we all get stuck in routines, and uh, it's it's I guess it's a little bit of a comfort zone when you get out and you're not in the same place. You the internet and computers, you where your stuff living out of a suitcase for six weeks so far and I've probably got another couple of months unless we find a house soon uh, to buy in Queensland which is 
proving super, super tricky. Um, yeah, it's a little bit painful. So yeah, it sounds like fun living out of the suitcase and not doing that. But I'm sure unless you get a van that you're living in or driving around, traveling from one state to the other state and then that, it's not much fun. So I'm looking forward to get back in my routine, locking that in, getting my normal hours, my phone calls, my time, my sleep and all that sort of stuff back on track. So that'll be good this week. So looking forward to that. So the video's going really well. There are some amazing shots. I can give you a hot tip on that. Uh, some really good shots coming out of this one. It's a gorgeous spot. Um, it's going to be called Brenda, Brenda Valley, I think it is, or, or Brenda Falls, um, after my mum. So that's a pretty special one for me. Uh, it's a, just another amazing spot I found. And it's the first video that's going to feature the Mini 2 drone footage. So that's something to look out for, 4K footage. Uh, it'll be obviously compressed down to 2080 with YouTube. But yeah, 4K footage of some just gorgeous, gorgeous country. So get ready for that one. Now... Some big news, Apple, this week for the new side of things. The AirPods 3 uh, rumors mill is pretty hot and to trot. And everything Apple Pro had over on his that they have pretty much got the final render or final final picture of what they're going to look like. Um, they've still got stems on them. They're still a, in that regards. They have sh changed the head shape to a lot more rounder uh, from what they're saying. Uh, it's going to have noise cancelling, they think it's going to stay, and it's going to have removable tips, so you can either wear them with removable tips or without, possibly technology in there to know, that can tell you if it's not seated properly, so you can adjust your pods, some sort of sensor or something they're looking at putting into, they're looking at putting things like health into it, so using some sort of light sensor to get temperature and blood sensors and all that, all that fancy tech stuff. If you're into your health while you're running, instead of maybe having a watch to look at your watch, it may be able to come into your ear and go and give you an update on your heart rate every five minutes or something like that. So, yeah, some pretty interesting stuff in there. They're saying they're going to be more comfy than the last ones. The render looks pretty cool. Uh, they do look, they've changed sensor spots and other locations. This That render on the front, on the thumbnail, is apparently what it is going to look like. So, that's pretty much it. Case is going to be smaller. So a smaller case to suit, they've managed how to get them in there and make it a little bit more compact, so that'll be good. Probably similar sort of battery range. Uh, it is going to have that spatial audio. It's getting a lot of features from the Pro pushed down because we are expecting a new Pro model out shortly too. So uh, this is going to get last year's Pro tech basically shoved into a new form factor of the AirPods 3. That's what they're roughly saying. It's a a little along those sort of a line. So that should be really good. Now it's looking around ooh, March, April. They're talking about, there's been a couple of rumors about an Apple event in March that other people said, no, it's not gonna happen at that. And then they go, yeah, they're not. Yes, they're no. Of course we don't know until it happens, but I would expect something March, April. We're gonna have a release uh, with, and uh, people like, I think it's Mark Gorman and um, oh, I can't remember that other guy's name. Uh, saying that there's probably going to be a new SE iPhone out uh, <clears throat> as well, and we might also see the new iMacs. Uh, now, before sorry, before I leave, I just seen a note on the uh, it should have the new H2 chip too in these uh, AirPods 3. So that all the new tech, all every as always, Apple's going to shove as much as they can in. A lot of it's going to be from the Pro down, so that's going to be a good thing, entry level. Pretty good, and they're probably going to be around the two hundred dollar US dollar estimate. Now, as long as it, along with the SE, sorry, blah, 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 <laughs> along with the SE that's supposed to be coming early in March and April in the same sort of show time frame, we could also see the release of the new IMAX. Now, I've chucked a picture up on the thumbnail of what the the renders or, or what they're guesstimating they're going to look and the colours. Now, there's a lot of talk that it's going to go back to. When Apple exploded back up again, um, when Jobs come back, they had the clear clear cases on the back of the iMac. I worked with one of them at work. Um, Dad had one. They were fantastic. They were brilliant computers. Uh, and you could pick any color you wanted. Uh, it was very, very cool, very funky. And that's now coming back in this form factor. Now, it's going to have that square shape like the Pro Display does. Um, didn't look, doesn't look like it's going to have the, the bezels, the cheese grater look. On the back of it but i'm imagining the tech's going to be amazing the big thing for me i guess 
is that going to have the M1 chip in it? If it does, then that is going to be a huge, huge deal because to get a screen, M1 chip in it, and all that computer power into one big screen with a big 27-inch screen, that definitely, definitely could see the resurgence of the iMac as an option for everyone to have at home, which I think would be good because if they can make, definitely make it cheaper, uh, around the 1000 to $1,500 mark, that is going to be pretty darn cool. So can't wait to see that. March and April, some big things happening for Apple. Now, uh, if you hadn't already seen this morning, Donald Trump's gone back on and had a big speech at the uh, conserv conservative conference over in the States uh, to a rousing applause and everything by the fans that are there to see him. Obviously, he still has a lot of followers and that. Whether you love him, you hate him, there are people that do appreciate him and do support him. Um, that's their choice. That's that's the beauty of a democracy. Everyone gets to have their own say. They pay taxes. They get to choose who they want. And you can't knock them. That's their choice. Uh, that's how democracy works. Um, yeah, I'm, it's just the way it is. Um, whether he's a funny guy, <laughs> I'll admit that. It makes me laugh. Uh, sometimes a little bit crazy, a little bit scary. But look, a lot of people do love him. Uh, he looks like he's going to be making a comeback. Uh, or gonna, he's going to try and run again. Um, they he announced that he's not splitting the party. That's definitely not happening. They're staying together. He's saying it's not over. They're coming back. He wants looks basically sounded like he's going to go for it again in the next in 2024. So I would not be surprised if he has another crack at it uh, and how that goes. If he gets in again, he gets another four years. Obviously, I think it's only eight years total they're allowed to do. Um, so it'll be very, very interesting in four years' time to see that what happens. Biden's really going to have to perform in these four years. He's got a lot of pressure on him because if he doesn't perform and doesn't achieve, keep everyone happy, well, then obviously Trump's going to come on the back door and it could be another very, very close election on the next time. So pretty interesting to see. Uh, he's not doesn't look phased, doesn't look down and out like someone that's just lost and, and going to be going to be getting out of politics. It looks like he's... Still ready to go for it. Uh, it's going to be a pretty wild and pretty interesting in the next four or five years, in, in four years' time. So, yeah, uh, I don't think we've heard the end of Donald Trump. Now, uh, Sony uh, from over on Unbox Therapy, the boys are talking about, um, or Lou later, sorry, um, Sony's looking at a one inch sensor for a phone. Uh, and looks like Huawei's going to be the first one to do it. Uh, they're going to be in the P. P50 that's due out this year it looks like it may have this new Sony camera sensor, one inch sensor that's massive. Uh, I think the ZP ZV1, the little vlog camera, has got a one inch sensor in it, so a really big sensor. Get a fantastic picture. Uh, it's not obviously not full frame, but if you get a lot more quality. The picture is going to be pretty darn special. So, uh, awesome tech from Sony. Huawei's jumped straight onto it and put punch it into one of their flagship phones. That's going to make it very interesting. As I said, the, there's not a lot in the phone markets. So you really have to, have to find nitpick to get your best one and have a, have something that you're suited. So you see for Apple or Samsung, if you're Android, but then you've got a million choices, and it's, that is really tricky. Apple's pretty simple solution. It's either a big one, a small one, or a, or a pro one, depending on if you want a good camera or not. So. This Sony one inch sensor, uh, if Apple gets hold of that and uses that for their uh, camera sensors, with their tech and their algorithms and all the fantastic stuff they do, obviously it's going to take the photography to the next level yet again. So, uh, very, very cool tech. Sony, awesome leaders in the sensor uh, market for cameras of all shapes and descriptions. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely going to be a good thing. Um, it's how it gets used and what these big uh, mobile phone companies can envision and how they interpret it and, and how they get around to pushing it in. So it be very, very interesting to see. And that's about it. Um, I will see you or oh, I'll be back to work. Oh, no, I'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday. Easy. Hope you have a good start to your week. Hope it wasn't bad as mine. And yeah, ANZ, <laughs> to you, thanks very much. That's a silly, silly system you've got. You need to fix that. It uh, does not make any logical sense whatsoever. Radio, that's it for me. My rant's done and dusted for another Monday. I'll catch you all on Tuesday. See you tomorrow. Whether you're going this way, that way, catch you tomorrow.
Peace.